Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Geminis. Now Geminis, I am doing an abridged version of this reading, so you will notice it may be a little bit shorter and a little bit quicker um, than the usual you versus them reading, but I am short on time um, before the holiday weekend and I really wanted to get these messages out to you. So Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my dearest Geminis, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, so your energy, the Hierophant, how you're viewing them, the Judgment card, and how you're viewing the relationship, the Three of Wands, okay? Now, your person's energy, the Star, Aquarius energy, how they're viewing you, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and how they're viewing the relationship, the King of Pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing otherworldly with that card. May not be a traditional reading of the King of Pentacles in reverse, but they definitely feel like your otherworldly Gemini or this connection is. What's going on between you? We have the Empress. Wow. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay. And we've got the King of Wands. My goodness, Gemini. And we see the Eight of Pentacles in reverse as your overall energy. All right, so what I'm seeing here, Gemini, is you're in the energy, a Hierophant energy, very grounded, down to earth, independent, you're persistent, you're working hard. Um, you have a strong hold on like your morals, your values, your integrity. And I feel like you're really wanting a higher level of commitment here or marriage. You're viewing the, your person as the judgment card. Aries Scorpio energy. So this is something really beautiful coming to life. Um, you see them as possibly divinely, you know, divinely guided to you. Um, I feel you, you, you probably, most of you resonate with this being like a twin flame or, or a strong soulmate connection. Um, you, you, you're viewing your person as really much better than anybody else. The judgment card is like somebody who is just, you know, somebody who's spiritually at your level, mentally, physically, emotionally. And the connection you're seeing, now there may be distance between you with the three of wands, but you're definitely seeing growth and expansion here. Now your person, they could be an Aquarius, all right, in the star energy. Um, this person is definitely very like intelligent. I feel they're also equally as independent. We have two fixed signs coming out. So you're both pretty strong willed. I feel you match each other's energy beautifully and your person may be playing a little bit more of the long game here. But I feel like, you know, Gemini, you are this person's wish fulfillment. They're viewing you as the 10 of wands in reverse. So they're seeing you as, you know, possibly letting go of burdens, maybe making some big changes in your life at this time. And they're viewing the connection as the king of pentacles in reverse. So what I'm hearing here is like a yes, but not right now type energy. So I feel like your person is playing a little bit more of the long game. Um, maybe they're focusing on health or finances. And again, some of you, this is a long distance connection. So, but it, but it feels like, like the message I heard really loud and clear when this came out was this is otherworldly Gemini. So this person, wow, it feels like they're blown away by you. We have Taurus and Libra energy with the Empress. So definitely a nod to those of you that feel like this is your divine counterpart. Um, this is growth. This is expansion. This is you two really like being very passionate about one another, about the connection, um, wanting the same things, possibly building a family, marriage, commitment, whatever that means for you. And then we get the king and the queen of wands. So when the queen of wands came out, I was like, uh oh, there's a third party. Now it could be for some of you, but then out came the king of wands. You both might have fire placements, but I'm just seeing Gemini, this is your person. You two are a power couple. You two are meant for each other. You two are being divinely guided to one another. I mean, this is absolutely incredible, okay? So let's see what they would like you to know, okay? What do they want my Geminis to know here, please, Spirit? 
heart space. I'm becoming more willing to feel, to let you in and be more emotionally vulnerable. Wow. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> All right. Family wounds. I'm unraveling family dysfunction. So that could also be why they're maybe moving at a slower pace. They want to do things differently. I'm getting for some of you, this person is divorced. So it's like they don't want to repeat those past mistakes. And back and forth. I am conflicted. It's nothing you have imposed on me. I need to figure this out for myself. So again, this person, I, I do feel because of this dysfunction, because of these wounds, um, excuse me, <coughs> my throat chakra just started acting up out of nowhere. <coughs> excuse me, Gemini. Wow, that's... <coughs> so somebody may, might have a blocked throat chakra here. Um... And that may be why they're like in this yes, but not right now energy. One moment. Okay, sorry about that brief little pause there. Not really sure. My throat chakra just totally went crazy for a sec. All right, so your words, your demeanor, and the way you have extended forgiveness and grace has helped me more than you know. Ooh, so yeah, you've actually had a lot to do with this person's healing or possible awakening, Gemini. I like that a lot. <laughs> Let's see what advice spirit has for you. Again, somebody here, I don't know if somebody is, you know, I just got an image of somebody vaping out there. <laughs> um, that may be you, maybe it resonates with you. Um, but yeah, somebody here may have a blocked throat chakra. All right, let's see what advice we have for my Geminis, please. So time to collaborate. Yeah, there's a fresh new beginning. I feel you two are really made for each other, but you're gonna have to be patient. Um, it, this and that are true. So we see dolphin spirit. So it's about being really playful. Um, I don't know why I have to say this. There are two sides to every story. So again, we get this back and forth energy, this and that are true. So your person might be quite indecisive. Maybe you're feeling a bit indecisive, Gemini, because this person may be taking some time, but I, I see you two being really, really perfect for each other. And we get grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. See, I think your person is going to take a leap of faith towards you. Yeah, and it could be in Leo season. Again, there could be some Leo energy here in your chart or in theirs. Be generous of spirit. Yeah, so if you're feeling, if you're a little bit confused, Gemini, about how this person, what's going on with this person right now, just know that they 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 have been wounded. They don't want to, they want to do things right. And they could be in the process of healing. So like just really wanting to take it slow. Um, but it feels really good, Gemini, from where I'm, from where I'm standing. All right, let's see if there's anything else we need to know about this connection, please. All right, so we get this really strong Leo energy, this lion energy. Some of you, you may have big cats or lions as your animal totem or spirit guides. I'm seeing some of you, that, especially those of you that do shamanic journeying you know, to the underworld. So you may see lions. They may be signs or synchronicities for you. All right, victory. Yeah, there, I see victory here for you too. It just, you know, just be patient. Take your time. Know this person is still healing or, you know, they might be a little bit conflicted because they don't want to get hurt again. Um, but there's a lot of love here. A woman holding a heart. I think this person's going to lay it all out for you. And we get the temple path. So that's a nod to, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck. This was my screensaver for a bit. Um, I just love this card and these orbs. So you're being protected. I feel the connection is protected. I love that. All right, let's see. Any final messages for my Geminis, please? Clear messages and guidance for my Geminis, please. All right, you are trying too hard, give it time. Yeah, so I feel there's a need to be patient here um, and surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go and all will work out. And it kind of feels like your person is releasing like old baggage, karma. And love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Yeah, so I feel like you do have a great relationship here. Um, that's going to be brought into balance. All right. So Gemini's, I'm sending you lots of love and light and just know that, you know, next month, this uh, reading should be back to normal full length. Um, I appreciate all of your love and support. If you're interested in the cards I'm using, a private reading um, or my links to TikTok and Instagram or your Gemini birthday candle, um, which has launched in my Etsy shop, go ahead and check out the description box. All right. Love and light. Take care.